So therefore, number six, only cargo vehicles. Well, in the past two years, when you had President Museveni say, therefore, <laughs> you could just know we are either bouncing into a lockdown or he's extending it to more 21 or 31 days. Anyway, Ugandans are now worried about the possibility of having another series of lockdowns in the country very soon. I'm coming up with the details. <music> And it's not good news in Mohammed Kabanda's camp. A police report has revealed shocking results. I'm coming up with the details. Well, a very good morning. Welcome to the Buzz UG. And uh, if it's your first time to, you know, to catch up on the stories right here, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fula, and I'm asking you to subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Now, Kawembe South Member of Parliament, Horrible Kaziwe Bashir Mbazira, has been attacked by his constituents after confirmed he was among the members of parliament who signed on the parliament's ICT committee report that approved the Computer Misuse Bill 2022. Well, Kaziwe Bashir was a former leader of journalists in the Uganda Journalists Association and some people are wondering why he would sign on this bill, well knowing that it's here to limit freedom of speech and expression. Well, according to other reports, NUP's Rubaga North Member of Parliament, Horrible Kawalia Abubakar, and uh, Rubaga South Member of Parliament, Horrible Alozias Mukasa, also appended their signatures on this Serico bill. However, none of these members of parliament has yet come out to defend themselves on this matter, but I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. <music> Now, Ugandans are worried that anytime soon, we could be bouncing into another series of lockdowns. Well, this is after President Museveni last evening ordered the ban on movement into and out of Kassanda and Mubende districts as a measure to contain the Ebola disease that is spreading so fast in different parts of the country. Those who are not going to abide by President Museveni's directives, their cars will be confiscated and sold, according to President Museveni. Now, Mubende and Kassanda have also been put under curfew from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And then we may have even to confiscate these vehicles. We may have to confiscate them. Because we are government, Serious punishment will be done. Number six, only cargo vehicles and authorized government vehicles and security vehicles are permitted to move, but shall not take people in or out of Mubende and Kassan. Those vehicles of the government which are allowed to move because they are, they, they are vehicles of, of health workers or security or other vital government services will not transport people. They just transport the officers involved. The security forces who are enforcing this, I will demand that they are given cameras, they are given either phones which can record so that, so that when they are impounding the vehicle, they record the scene so that we have proof. Well, those are some of the statements President Museveni said yesterday as he addressed Ugandans on the Ebola situation in the country. <music> now, it seems Mohamed Kabanda, a gentleman who recently claimed that his kidney was extracted by doctors at Old Kampala Hospital, is far from getting justice after a police report revealed that he was born with only one kidney. Now, this police report done by Kampala Imaging Center was given to him and his family members yesterday by Dr. Biaruhanga at Mulago Hospital. However, Kabanda and his family have refused to believe the results in this police report. <laughs> Now, 
mainzo zari wanga chwa inanchi nisigo ya akubili nienga vayi nemu kakache enemu esigadeo egeja egeze kukora emilimu ejele nisigo emu ekozechi echari iwo well, that second voice is for one of the doctors right here in Kampala, shedding more light on this issue. And Lord Mayor Edias Lukwago has vowed to take on this case in the courts of law no matter what. Nigu wete ke mubigere biya kabanda. Ogenze kutuari. Olina accident ya kumutwe. Baku sanyala za, baku ukoreze cooperation, baku tunze kumutwe. Ato sangechi undwe chipia kurubutu. Obabuza che chiba deo, tema kunyo nyo laburu unji. E ilato wali ripoti uedaka, niti wali uwe cheta agisa, okusalo urubuto, okubayo bibajayo kuteka kumutwe. Echo mripoti techirimu, to inza kumala gagama ati ensonga, ochitua langa ya arubala atubwedu. Fatugena maso no musango guno, ila polisi tuwa jigambi, yekende maso no kuno nyeleza, no kulaba ntu musango guno kugina mumbu gaza mateka. Well, some people have advised Kawanda to go outside the country, maybe Aga Khan Hospital in Kenya, and confirm whether he was really born with one kidney or it was extracted. Well, last evening, the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine, received the first batch of Ugandans who have been stuck in detention centers in the Middle East. Well, they were hosted at his home in Magere, and uh, they shared some of the disturbing experiences they have been through. Well, let's first of all listen in, and I'll be back in a few. But it is held in those deportation centers. Nigerians are there. You, you, you share everything with them. They fight, they beat people. You know, we are, they, those deportation centers, they cannot tell. They cannot tell what is happening there. Now, when I got to Avalia, I was going to go to Yambi. No, Rachel, I know Yambi and I am there. Well, according to reports, there are still other Ugandans stuck in the Middle East and Bobby Wine has requested each NUP member of parliament to help and at least return one Ugandan. Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you right now on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.